everybody in this video I am gonna do something uh, I'm gonna install a light interior lighting on this 70 Chevelle so this Ford Focus you see before you has a light inside of it it's not on yet but the only pain with the light is the fact that you gotta take the car apart if you want to turn on the light but <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing with this Chevy the Chevelle I'm gonna take it apart I already drew out the little rivets at the bottom, so yeah, there you go. <clears throat> and I'm gonna cut out the and cut out the interior with a hacksaw. There's not much in the interior, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut out the parts of the interior and see how that goes for me. And yeah, there you go. And I'm gonna use the, that purple light, this purple light right here. But I'm gonna fix it using a pair of pliers because two parts of the light. And they use it's the same light I use for the Ford Focus. Is the light and the battery. The battery has to grip it really tight on the thing, on the uh, the uh, light, and it slides out, which is pretty a pretty cool feature in my opinion. And there we go. The light has been fixed, and it's gonna look really, really cool when I'm done with it. So there you go. <clears throat> so let's get to taking apart the the car, the Chevy, Chevelle, whatever you want to call it. First, you gotta take apart the vehicle. If you wanna, you don't have to do interior, but do you wanna do an underglow or something like that with these lights? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to use a different set of tiny, tiny LED lights if you want underglow. But for this video, I'm just gonna do interior lighting, and it's really not gonna matter. So, <clears throat> as you can see, there's barely anything in this interior, so. I'm gonna start by snapping off the drive and cut off. I'm gonna cut off the dry the steering wheel with a pair of wire cutters, like that. And I'm gonna sand everything down when I'm done. So there you go. I'll even cut out that little bar in the middle with the wire cutters, but I'm just gonna sand down some uh, sandpaper. But there you go. I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna sand it too much though, just so that. And I'm gonna make it really skinny, like uh, that. Mm, about that should do, I think. I'm not gonna sand that, you know, I'm screw that. I'm just not gonna sand it at all. So mm, mm, there you go. And so I'm gonna fit the light in there. Okay, that's too big. Therefore I need to do I need to uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get my jeweler saw, cut out a little cut out a slot for the light to go in. Yes, this is an LED earring. This is just a, all this is is a light up earring that I got off of Amazon. But a lot of pairs of them, but can't find most of them. But yeah, so I'll show you when it's, I'll show you the uh, the little slot when it's done. When I'm done cutting. So now that I have cut a little slot in the interior for the light to go in the LED earring, I <clears throat> I realized that there's a little seat in the way of the light. See that? Yeah, so I'm just gonna rip that out with a pair of wire cutters. And I'm going to clean it up with a file. Do it over a paper plate. Cause this is uh, the surface I'm working on right now is like a dining table in my dining room. Oh wow, it's more difficult than I'd expected. And that, that I'm being serious about that. Holy crap, that was hard. <clears throat> Now that's gone, I'm going to file it down. Like I said, I'm going to do it over a paper plate. The little shavings don't, you know, get everywhere. But yeah, there you go. <clears throat> yes. Okay, I'm not going to do this. I'll do this somewhere else. But I'm going to check to see if the light fits in there okay. And lucky for me, it does. So now, now that uh, it's out the way, I can um, get my glue gun. Just heat it up for. She's been heating up for a little bit, and wait, I need to move the camera because y'all can't see it. All right, now you can. So there you go. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna try to like fit in the interior in there. The chrome, the really shiny part. I'm just gonna call it the interior. Got the underside in the interior. The light. Here's the light that I'm gonna install. 
Cause I saw it about right there. And I'm just gonna put a little, a, a little crap ton of glue where the uh, the little battery's gonna go. The bulky part on the bottom. But yeah, there you go. So let's do that now. Oh wow, that does a lot more than I wanted, but that's okay. I'm gonna <clears throat> put the interior in. What the? Okay. All right, I'm gonna slide in that uh, light, the little light, and yeah, I'm gonna try. <clears throat> and as I do it, I'm gonna try my best to uh, make sure that the the bead. I'm gonna try the best that neither the bead of glue, nor the light, or nor the nor the battery, the light will touch the act the rear axle. So there you go. Mm. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to turn it around because the light, the light itself is on like one side of the thing, one side of the earrings, so yeah. Uh, there you go. <clears throat> and the third part of this video, I'm gonna show off the final result. Like I said earlier in this video, the only pain, the only thing, the only disadvantage of this method in terms of uh, adding lights is because if you want to do underglow you, you need a lift kit or you need to like get a Dremel and sand out and like cut a big old a big old hole in the bottom of the car if you want underglow and uh, yeah and it's just I don't want to do that and so I just didn't on top of that <clears throat> The only part you need to drum on is where the light's going to be showing off, you know? And it works better on raised cars if you want to do underglow with using this exact light, type of light. And, uh, <clears throat> cool about the light is the fact that it turns on and off really easily. If you want to turn it on, push it down. If you want to lift it back up, if you want to turn it off, I, 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 it's really cool. <clears throat> Given the fact that I have no electrical, no experience with electrical stuff, I don't have to wire anything. And I don't, on top of that, I don't have a soldering iron. Besides, electricity is really dangerous. Therefore, I this is a really cool method, for, for me at least. And for most people, especially people who have little to no experience with wires and electricity and whatnot. Or who just don't want to do it. But there you go. I'm going to put the car back together. I'm gonna show you the final result. I'm gonna show you the final result in a darker area. Probably window without room, without like, uh, I don't know, okay. windows. <clears throat> Back for the third part of this video. And uh, so what is it? Yeah, I was gonna show off the final result in a window, in an area without windows. So there you go. Uh, I got the light right here. It's on it's on, on the underside of the car, and I'm gonna show. I'm gonna turn off the lights in this room. It's in just. I'm not gonna say where it is because I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I just wanna keep it a surprise. I want you to figure it out or something. I want you to figure it out yourself. But there you go. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the lights. See how this works. Cause that's how bright these lights are. These lights are like so bright, man. Especially up front. Or is it just a like little, like, I don't know what to call it, but a little circle. I think it's really cool. You look at that. Look how bright that is. You can see this from, you can probably see this from a mile away. Wow. All right, there you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, viewers and subscribers, and anyone else watching my channel, smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and stay cool. See you next time. May the force be with you. Have a great day. Have a great Friday, which is tomorrow. Best day of the week. And I'll see you next time on my 
200, 200 video, I want to say, is will be my next video. So there you go. <clears throat> mm. Bye.